Today's color code is OC95. Let's get cracking. We got an awesome request for today's episode of Color Code, where we crack the code on color selection. If you're new here, the paint people are all about the world of painting and decorating and decoding these complex colors for you. The way we do that is, firstly, revealing the colloquial name of that color code, which in this case would be Navajo White by Benjamin Moore. I'm just kidding, it's Navajo White. I've been working on my pronunciations. We're then going to get into the color's LRV, or its darkness value, as well as its undertones, so you can learn how to use it, where to use it, and ultimately, what to use it with. If that sounds awesome, then it would be equally as awesome if you liked the video and shared it with your friends. Navajo White by Benjamin Moore is categorized as an off-white, which you can see in the OC, or off-white collection component of its OC95 color code. Using this code is especially important with Navajo White because there's a Sherwin-Williams color of the same name that can sometimes cause confusion. While some off-whites can simply appear as a plain or a stark white, Navajo White has enough color and tint within it to take it quite a few steps away from that into a true off-white category. Its LRV is just under 80 at 79.88, and typically colors under 80 will visually contrast themselves next to a pure white, and this has its advantages as a wall color specifically, because in a lot of cases, it's nice to have that little bit of difference. The only time I've used Navajo White on my baseboards was when I also used it on the walls, because I specifically wanted the two to blend in for a more clean and soft approach to my woodwork. Essentially, it's not an alternative to white. It really ends up looking more of a really light creamy beige that has yellow as its primary source of warmth, but also introduces that dash of taupe to settle the undertones a bit. This creamy white can be incorporated in more traditional designs, and that's because of its emphasis on a warm, neutral comfort level it portrays. But I don't think that it's a limiting factor in any way. I'm a big believer that you can take any color that is seemingly too neutral or perhaps a bit boring and incorporate it into something more dynamic and exciting. So let's get to the first segment. Where should you use it? It doesn't get any more main color worthy than Navajo White. If you think back to art class, back in the glory days of high school, you might have had the pleasure of working with a canvas, a clean, beautiful empty canvas ready to physically absorb your creativity. That is very much what Navajo White accomplishes as a color. It's light enough that it won't pull focus, it's warm enough to keep the space feeling nice and open, but it also has enough depth to allow whites to pop off around it. Going in the warmer direction of neutral rather than cold tends to be the safer option in general, I find, especially in those north-facing rooms or areas that get a ton of natural direct light, which ultimately will cool the space down visually. So with Navajo White and its yellow warmth, it's going to tame that blue light onslaught of LED pot lights and sunlight, which can make more straightforward bright whites look blue in comparison. This is a color that is currently in the running for my next wall color in a loft I'm planning on painting soon, and it's largely to work alongside the amount of natural light it gets. But I want to talk about ceilings a little bit. I have a pretty strong bias towards keeping your ceilings bright and white so they can reflect as much bright white as possible. Just be aware that the cream on your walls painted Navajo white will be even more accentuated alongside a bright white ceiling. So you will see that difference between the two. What's a good trim color for it? Well, I already hinted at it before because Navajo white is a light enough color that it regularly is used on both the walls and the trim albeit with different finishes. The good news is, however, you don't have to do that because there are bright whites that exist which will stand out quite clearly next to Navajo white. Ones like Oxford white for something a little more easy on the eyes, or perhaps the ultra bright Chantilly lace which will be sure to stand out nicely. Whatever white you end up choosing, I would just recommend keeping a 10 LRV difference between the wall and the trim color if possible. And also, I would favor the slightly warmer undertones rather than cooler whites. What are some fun color pairings for it? 
Taking a step away from the warm neutral section of colors, you can try out a color like New Hope Gray 2130-50, which is very much on the blue-gray side of things, but also has a hint of violet hiding in the background. It's part of the color preview selection of Benjamin Moore colors, which is handy as you can go up and down the actual color chip to find something perhaps a bit darker or lighter, depending on your needs. Another option I'd like to present you is a Benjamin Moore Color Stories color, which is fairly new and it's called Budding Green, CSP790. It made an appearance in an episode of Color Combos, which I'll leave in the description down below for you to check out. But essentially, it is a soothing green tea color with just enough yellow warmth in it to allow it to coordinate well with Navajo White. I've been trying to find excuses to use more green in my color palette recently, as historically, I feel green has gotten a bad rap, but not anymore. I'm campaigning for more green paints to be used this year. Can you compare it to other colors? Why, of course I can. Being a fairly light beige color, there is going to be a ton that are similar, but if you wanted something that was a bit lighter and perhaps more apparent with its yellow creaminess, you could check out Marble White 942. Although they both have white in their names, they're still tinted enough with that warm creaminess where they will look more off-white. Marble White is quite a bit more yellow, so just be aware that in those north-facing rooms, it could sometimes have more of a slight green tinge. Chatsworth Cream has a similar level of depth to Navajo White, but it's going to have more of a sandy brown undertone incorporated, which will give you more of a beige color compared to cream. It also has just a touch of that green in it as well, which would easily be neutralized if you paired it with that beautiful budding green color we talked about earlier. Speaking of which, you can check out the episode of Color Combos where we talk about budding green right over here. These colors are all going to be CSP or Color Stories colors by Benjamin Moore. And the cool thing is none of them contain any gray or black pigment inside. It's pretty awesome. At least I think so because I'm a paint nerd. See you on the next one.